the video you just saw was uh, Priscilla seeing her dad for the first time in like over three years. And so he's here to visit us, and that's the start of our week. My week starting right now. This is my week. Just real quick, we're having dinner, but I just want to point something out to all you people who are Americans out there, okay? I want to show you the difference between an American cashew and a real mm -hmm. cashew. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, how, you know how normal cashews usually get in America or restaurants? They're usually like, like brownish. I mean, they taste great. Don't get me wrong, they taste great. But... The real, I mean, the real cashews that are like from like South Central America are incredible, and you know you have a natural cashew that has not been alt genetically altered by any company when it's like this. See, this cashew has been baked naturally, completely white. That's how you know the difference between a real cashew and a cashew that's been genetically altered. And it tastes great. And um, Priscilla's dad My made dad. it. <laughs> yeah, you're dead. <laughs> yeah, he, he he brought this to us. Actually, he brought a, he brought a lot of food to us too. But this is one of them. And I just want to show you all something real quick. Simple editing procedure, but it's still a lot of fun to do. I always enjoy doing this type of effect um, for any type of videos that I might have a need. And this one video I'm working on, which is the fried bean tutorial, I do have a need because the ingredients. Cr require four tablespoons of olive oil and I only have one tablespoon measure. So what I'm doing is I, I put the one tablespoon measure we have in four different places on the table and I'm masking the the met all, all four of the measure measurements and that were in different places and hopefully it'll make it look like that I actually have four instead of one. You can see I'm putting the mask on for that. So when you see the tutorial and you see, it's like, oh, how did you get four there? And see, there you see. Boom. Four. How'd that happen? <laughs> well, it's because I'm masking through. Now, there, there's like a little bit of, eh, you know, it's like, okay, why is that shadow playing with that? But... Really, I mean, and I could put a filter on that. Probably won't because this is just a simple video. So, there's just something interesting I wanted to show you while I do this. I just want to show you the result of the masking that I edited with the tablespoons earlier. So this is how I, this is how I taped it. I just taped where I, I placed the one tablespoon we had on the table, and then what you'll see is, is my hand coming, and I just move it. I'm just moving it. So I'm basically moving the same tablespoon every 20, 30 seconds to a different spot, as you can see. And so I just kept on doing that, and then I ended up putting it in its last spot, and then I eventually just picked it up and notice how I, where I pick where and how I pick it up. It was perfect. I didn't even mean to do it, but I, I did it the best possible shot, and I'll show you why. And so here is what I did with that. End up masking, and there are four little measuring cups instead of just one now. But not only not only did I do that, but I also was able to figure out how to edit it to where it's like I'm picking up one and taking it off screen without touching these other three. My goodness, I love the magic of masking. 
is awesome. I'd recommend any of you editors out there, basic editing 101 is find software to where you can use masking with. It doesn't matter if, it, if you have to pay a little bit more or if, it, if you sacrifice something for free, it's worth the price of an extra buck just to get some type of editing, editing software that allows you to do some type of masking. I mean, there's all sorts of free sites out there like the GIMP, GIMP2, to do that type of stuff because it's just, it gives you excellent results. Any, any type of masking tool is, is perfect for that because it allows you to do, do this types of stuff and it really improves the, um, your, your videos and what you can do with videos. What? I said that tonight is going to be blood here and all over the place. Yeah. The funny thing is, uh, I take her seriously. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> she, uh, I mean, she doesn't lie about these type of things, so. She may joke, you know, and, and not do anything, but she doesn't lie. She could do it. But most likely she just makes dinner, usually. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm just, yeah, she's just cooking, I'm talking, which is not, well, her cooking's fine, me talking's probably not good. I love you. I love you too, though. Hey everybody, I'm just... Trusting a man I only met a few days ago to cut my head. <laughs> Just to get my hair cut to prepare for next week, not going to tell you what's going to happen, but it's something really exciting, but it requires me to have shorter hair. And of course that has to happen right when we turn the camera. It's going to be all noisy outside, so can't hear what I'm saying. Just wait a second. Anyway, like I was saying, next week there's going to be some things happening, so I need some shorter hair to keep myself cooler. And now it's a weedy. That's uh, But anyway, I'm Ryan. I'll see you guys next week.